What's up guys, my name is T-Bone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Gorilla Tag tree stump for your Gorilla Tag main game. So, for starters, go ahead and open up your blender and then delete everything in the scene. And if you have no idea what buttons I'm pressing, look at the bottom right and there are all my hotkeys. Then, let's add a new cylinder and then change the vertices to something, uh, I would say around 12. Then, let's go ahead and scale up our actual stump here. And then let's add a loop cut in the middle by clicking Control R, and then go into edge selection mode and select the bottom edges at the very bottom, and then scale it up so it's like the base of the actual stump. Then we might have to drag the top up a little bit to make it look more like an actual stump. Now to make those little slopes that you go on to get into the stump, add a new cube, just scale it down a little bit, make it a bit bigger on the x-axis, and then scale down on the z-axis to make it like a plank. Then we're gonna drag it down a little bit, and then we're gonna go into edit mode and drag out the end of it so it kind of is more of a long plank and then drag it up so it kind of slopes up. Then just move it accordingly and then we're gonna make another one of these by clicking shift D. Then go into edit mode and then drag the other end down so it's like the opposite of the other one so you can jump onto it like Gorilla Tag. And then I'm gonna just move it up here and then move it back down. Now we have to make the actual entrance to the stump, so I'm just going to hide the stump, I'm not deleting it. Then add a new cylinder, and then change the vertice amount to something higher, like 16. Then unhide the stump, and then let's rotate the actual entrance on the Y by 90 degrees. Then position it accordingly inside of the stump. Once it looks about right, then we're going to click on the top of the stump, and then make the ridges that make it look more like a stump. So just click on the top face, click I a few times, and keep going in. Then we're going to actually bevel the edges by clicking on the edges and then clicking control B. In my case, I want to use like two, around two edges to make it look low quality, but still look really decent. I'm also going to do this on the bottom, although you cannot see the bottom actually in game. Then I'm just going to select the middle edges and bevel them just the tiniest bit just to make it look a bit more smooth and not just a block poly. Then we're going to actually have to cut the entrance into the stump. So click on the stump, add a boolean modifier to the stump and then click object to the cylinder then apply the modifier then you have a nice cut inside of the stump and it looks really really nice and i'm pretty sure you can see where i'm going with this so let's head into wireframe mode and now we have to actually sculpt or model out how the inside of the stump is going to work so let's add a new cube and then scale it accordingly and make it close to the actual front of it to make sure that the entrance isn't sticking out too much and then try and make the floor relatively close to the sticking out point of the stump don't make it too far down or too far up otherwise the player is just going to fall as soon as they go into the stump which is, it's not good then we're going to move it accordingly and position everything just right to your likings then we're going to scale everything by scaling it over and then maybe even scaling it higher later to make it you know to make it sure they don't bang their head whenever they move then position it accordingly and it doesn't matter if anything sticks out right now because we're going to completely edit that later by going into our edit mode now, as you can see, some of it may or may not be sticking out of the stump, depending on how it is. Now, we're going to fix this. It's really simple to fix. Instead of just scaling it like this, because then everything becomes smaller and everything becomes weird. And if you just have a stump that is simply a square, it looks very boring, weird, and odd. So we're actually going to sculpt the inside. So we're going to go into edit mode on the cube and then add a few loop cuts by clicking Control R and then using your scroll wheel to add about, you know, six loop cuts. So we have a good area to work with. So then go into face selection mode, select the edge face where it sticks out, and then just drag it inside of the stump. You can do the same with the one right next to it. You're going to also drag that one in so it doesn't look, you know, that sticking out. And then drag it in just a tad bit, and then go back into actual plane view by clicking on the viewport at the very top right, and then see if it sticks out. Then you could do this with all the edges of the stump. Now go ahead and zoom into the inside of the stump and this is how it should roughly look. All the edges look nice and it's not just a boring little square. But we're going to have to actually go into the cylinder where you go inside the stump, delete the actual edge face by going into edit mode and deleting the actual end face. Then we're going to add a boolean modifier to the actual like cube that we just made and then apply it to the cylinder and then change the mode to intersect. This is going to intersect the actual tube so that you have a cut way to get in then apply the modifier 
And as you can see, the stump is the like entrance to the stump is kind of sticking out a little bit. So go ahead, go into edit mode here, and you're gonna notice that there are two edges on the end of it. it it's it's really weird, I know. But we're gonna have to delete those. So click on the cylinder, then delete or click on the cube where you just intersected, and then delete into edit mode. Go like into edit mode and then delete all the edge faces that are like duplicated for some reason. Then once those are deleted, click on the actual cylinder inside of the cube and then drag those edge vertices in by selecting all of the end edge vertices. And then go ahead and drag those in just a little bit. Now you're going to notice these free floating edges and that when you import it to Unity, you're going to have a lot of collision bugs. So go ahead, just select all of those and then delete them. Now we actually have to make the branches that go off of the stump like Gorilla Tag. So add a new cube and then go into edit mode. Go into first view by clicking one or negative Y at the top right. Then select all, click M and then at center. So you have one vertice point. Then go into object mode and move the vertice to where you want the branch to be. So in my case, I want to be on the edge of the stump. Then move the actual X way to where it's gonna be. So about right there is perfect. Then go back into edit mode and extrude that vertice out to however you want the stump uh, branch to look like. You can go ahead and edit this to your liking, but now we actually have to add the skin modifier onto it. So it has a way to go and it's pretty big now. So we're gonna go into edit mode and then selecting A and then control A to scale it down and then go to the last vertice, scale it down. So it looks like it's slowly going out and then onto all the other vertices, you can scale them in or out depending on what you want the branch to look like. And then click on the one that goes into the stump and then scale it out so it looks like it's coming out the base. Then go ahead and like rotate this to your liking. You can move them over so it looks like it's kind of going the other direction, kind of like Gorilla Tag does. And once again, this is all up to your liking. Then you're gonna do the same thing, but for, well, the other side of the stump. Now you can add as many as you want, as less as you want. It doesn't matter to me. It's your stump after all. Now go ahead and find your textures from anywhere. You should have them from the map tutorial I made about bark. But if the branch has a weird texture, go ahead and apply the skin modifier. Go into edit mode, select all the vertices, then click one, then click U, click project from view, and then go into the UV editing tab, select all of them, make sure, select all of the like vertices points. Then in the UV area, scale it up a lot, click U, smart UV project, and then okay, and scale it up again to your liking. And you're just gonna do this on both branches. And congratulations, you now have a fully done stump that you can add to your Gorilla Tag fan game. All I want in the game is nothing besides just a name that says like game inspired by or map made by or asset made by T-Bone. And if you want this download file to the stump, like if you just want what I made, join the Discord server and link in the description. And inside one of the channels, I will have the download FBX for the stump. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.